Hey everybody, this is Skater Zero. Today I'm going to be covering the incrementer, which is the same sort of circuit as a decrementer, except it adds one instead of subtracting one. So the way it works is you have an analog value here that's being memorized, and each time you give it a pulse input, which is these blocks here, the analog value that's being remembered is incremented by one. So you add one each time you get a pulse. So if I send a pulse, the value increases by one each time, and the pulse can be as long or as short as you want it. It will just increment by one each time. So you could use this to, say, keep track of how many times somebody had stepped on a pressure plate, or in this example I have here, how many times somebody had opened a trap chest. So I'm going to open it three times, and you should see over here the value that's being stored here and here is three. Um, if I open the chest one more time, the value is now four. And that's pretty much what it does, is it keeps track of how many times something has occurred, or just each time you give it a pulse input, it increments the value by one. Um, and this also works similarly when I showed in the decrementer. If you can power this block uh, continuously, it will just keep adding one. So that is the bar filling up because it just keeps adding one until it gets up to 15, at which point it doesn't add one anymore because it's the highest it can be. So if you needed, like, I don't know, progress bar or something like that, or even just a timer, I guess, that's one way to do it. And this will just reset. I'm going to set this back to the pulse input setup. and. Uh, explain how it works. So this part of the circuit is just a pulse normalizer, which is why I was able to take it out of the circuit and uh, use it differently. But the idea is that you need to normalize the pulse length that comes out here so that you only add one instead of adding two or three or more, depending on how long the pulse is. So that's a pulse normalizer circuit. Uh, this part of the circuit here this the square plus those two torches is a analog memory circuit which I've shown in a previous video and um, the way it works is this is the value you're remembering which I'll call a is some number a uh, what happens is that goes into this subtracting comparator which takes 15 minus a as the output because 15 is always greater than or equal to any value you have here uh, so what it does is it takes 15 minus a and puts that there. So this is 15 minus a. This is now one block farther away, so that's going to be smaller by one amount. So it's 15 minus a minus 1, which is the same as 14 minus a. So that value is 14 minus a. Gets pushed into here, just pushed into here, so that's just pushing it forward. And it goes into this comparator, which when this is off, it says 0 is not greater than or equal to any value that comes out here so nothing comes out but when this is on it will say the output should be 15 which is the full value minus whatever you have coming in here which I said was 14 minus a so 15 minus 14 minus a if you do that correctly it's actually going to be uh, basically 15 minus 14 gives you the 1 and then 15 minus minus a is the same as 15 plus a. So you basically get 1 plus a coming out here, or a plus 1, doesn't matter. Uh, so you have a plus 1 coming out here, and then that just gets pushed forward into the memory. So each time that this turns on, it allows the value 14 minus a to come in. It subtracts 15, you get a plus 1 coming out, and you then store the value that you had before plus one in here. So that's how that works. It's a little bit more complicated than the decrementer, but um, it works in the same idea that you have a pulse input and an analog output that can change either plus one or minus one. This circuit does plus one. Um, so that's all I have for today. If you liked it, uh, please give a thumbs up and I'll see you later.